get a little demo of this Timberwolf processor. This is one of their more entry level models, is my understanding, right? Not yeah. it's not the cheapest, I don't think. Or is it? This one does start at the yes, this okay. is the cheapest. Well, this one's a Pro MPX. Okay. Uh, the Pro MP is a little bit cheap. Okay. So we're looking at the Pro MPX, does not have a conveyor. And, but it is on a trailer. This is a portable model with the live deck attached and uh, Looks like a pretty capable machine. You're gonna show it to us But first let's just do a little run through of the controls and then we'll see it in action Okay, all right controls are real simple. It looks like a lot of knobs, but it's not that bad um, I guess the main thing would be to saw to begin with um, This lever right here will run your chain uh, to, to spin the chain, that little button actually makes the oiler come on. Um, but what you do is you run the chain and then this lever right here runs the bar up and down. So you actually can, uh, while you're running it, you can do the bar quicker or slower as you want to. And when you get to feel for the stick of, the, the stick of wood that you saw, and you, you can actually pick up a lot of time by being able to do that. As far as I know, Timberwolf's the only ones that do that. Um, then this is a wedge up and down, hydraulic, simple. Uh, this one will be your live deck to roll the logs into the feed trough. This is the chain and the, uh, the top roller that feeds the logs into the saw and uh, to go through the splitter. Um, this is the splitter auto cycle. You just pull them down, it splits it, it goes back by itself, real simple. This is the clamp, this roller up here which is powered. Only Timberwolf has that, it's patented by them. You can uh, you can leave it on float to where it just puts a little bit of pressure on the stick if you need it, or you can put actual hydraulic pressure down on it, like for a crooked stick or knotty or whatever. It'll squeeze, but it'll squeeze the stick between the the top roller and the feed trough chain, and you can really get some gnarly stuff through here to get it into the saw. That's a problem with a lot of processes, as you would almost has to be perfect with a lot of them. With this machine, you don't, especially with that top clamp. Um, again, this is the Timberwolf Pro MPX. These machines start at forty thousand. I'm sorry, the Pro MP starts at forty thousand. The MPX has an extra pump, which makes it uh, the forty-five thousand dollar machine. Uh, the extra pump allows you to run the chain and bar down while the splitter is returning, so you can gain those few seconds. At the end of the day, adds up to more wood. Um, it is available with a four or six way wedge and you can get an integrated conveyor on the back of it. Um, and it comes with a, I believe it's 25 horsepower fuel injected electric start Honda engine. And uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it'll do two cords an hour. I mean, and up to 24 inch diameter trees. So it uh, is pretty capable for what it costs. So I noticed that we can adjust the length of your cut. What do you guys have it set at here? It looks like 18 or 20. It's probably on 18 if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah, I think it was 18. It looks like you got room to go out to maybe up to 24. I think I think it'll do 22 anyway. Okay. Pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Another a big feature of uh, Timberwolf's processors is this huge rear roller. I think they call it an hourglass roller. And of course it's geared to turn with the chain and that allows the crooked wood that will, cause the crook always turns to the bottom by the time it gets this far anyway off of the live deck, that it will always turn to the bottom. And uh, other, other processes, the deck stops right here. So it doesn't want to get that, uh, that crook over top of it. So Timberwolf figured out to put this hourglass roller back here and it will help it kind of turn and go on up on there. Um, I wish our multi-tech had that to tell you the truth because we get sticks hung on the back of ours and there's nothing you can do. So that's a big improvement. So one thing that stood out to me is just the length of the live deck and the feed trough and the addition of that roller on there. I think you could probably end up having, you know, 20 foot long wood ready to load on there if that's what you had. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'm sure this one's 20 foot. In fact, Timberwolf has a video where they had a stick that was 32 feet long. It was actually touching the ground in the back and the teeth on this and on the chain pulled it up and it fell down in front of the roller and they processed the, uh, the whole tree 32 feet long. 